Assalamu alaikum my dear students. Welcome to your chemistry class of standard 7. Hope all of you are well and enjoying our online classes. Today I will talk about smallest particle theory and types of molecules. And you will get this in your science book, page number 63 to 65 and lesson 3, 4, 5. At first, smallest particle theory. Before starting smallest particle theory, you should know history of smallest particle of matter. In previous class, you have known that matters are composed of very tiny particles, isn't it? And these tiny particles are actually this smallest particle. And about this smallest particle, actually there was a great history. That is, since different times for many years, different scientists, philosophers have given their opinions. At first, during 400 BC, a Greek philosopher, Democritus, first said about atoms. He first named atoms as the smallest particle of a matter. And he took this word atoms from the Greek word atomos, whose meaning is indivisible or which is not to be cut. And he said that the smallest particle of a matter is known as atom and it is not further divisible, it is not actually indivisible. But in that time, that means in the time of Democritus, another two philosophers named Plato and Aristotle, they didn't recognize Democritus. Actually, that means they did, um, did not agree with him. And according to Aristotle, that is Aristotle said that there is not any limit of division of a matter. That means we can we can turn a matter into small pieces up to as we wish. That means there is not a limit to break down a matter. Actually, he thought that this universe is made of by four elements. He said four elements are four fundamental particles and they are earth, that is soil, water, fire and air. He thought that in that time, in his time. That means he did not say about the smallest particle of matter. And he also didn't uh, recognize Democritus' thinking. Like this way, also another many scientists have given their opinion about this smallest particle. And finally, in 1803, John Dalton, an English chemist and also he was a school teacher, he first proposed a theory based on a smallest particle and this theory is called Dalton's atomic theory and he gave this theory on the basis of different experiments by many other scientists related with the smallest particle. 
so according to this dalton's atomic theory these are the points which we obtained so now we will try to understand these points of dalton's atomic theory and for this you have to listen carefully first point is elements are made of tiny particles called atom in previous class you have known that matters are composed of atoms so actually here the fundamental particles of matters main fundamental particles is atoms but there are actually also another smallest particle they are elements we will know about element uh, in next class so follow the picture this is the picture of copper you know that there are many elements we have hydrogen oxygen nitrogen silver gold copper iron etc many elements until now about 118 elements are discovered so these all elements are actually made of tiny particles which are called atoms follow here this is a copper element and follow this this copper element are made of very tiny particles innumerable number of tiny particles and these 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 single particle this single tiny particle or smallest particle of this copper this single particle is known as atom i hope you understand elements are made of very tiny particles and the smallest particle is called atom so we can say elements are made of many atoms isn't it now follow the next points all atoms of a given element are identical what is mean by identical identical means all atoms of an element are actually similar at same in their size shape color properties etc follow here all atoms of copper they are same isn't it they look same so their size shape color and also chemical properties are same that means all copper atoms are same all so similarly all oxygen atoms all nitrogen atoms are same all hydrogen atoms are same all iron atoms of this world are same so atoms of same element are same identical means they are same in all side now the atoms of a follow here the atoms of a given element are different from those of any other element that means here the meaning of this line is the atoms of different elements are different from one another follow here follow this picture it is very clear uh, picture here they are different elements a is for hydrogen o for oxygen c for carbon this is sodium this is chlorine element this is uranium they are different element and they are actually different atoms of different elements so follow here their size their colors are also different so just we have to understand that all atoms of one element are same and atoms of different elements are different in their size mass shape color etc follow the another picture follow here these are also atoms of different elements this is hydrogen oxygen this is nitrogen their colors are different and also their 
size this is 12 millimeter its diameter is 14 millimeter its diameter is 15 millimeter it is of 19 millimeter so their size are also different so i hope now you clearly understand the third points now follow the fourth points atoms of one element can combine with atoms of other element to form compounds follow this picture that means compounds are formed with the atoms of different elements follow here this is the water water molecule and water is a compound why because water is made of different types of atoms of different elements follow here water is made of one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atom that means different at atoms of different elements hydrogen element and oxygen element and how many two hydrogen atoms combine with one oxygen atom and form a water molecule and so to form a compound the used ratio this is actually whole number ratio and it is always fixed that means if you collect the water in any source of this world or in different source of this world or, and if you analyze these water molecules then always you will get two hydrogen atom and one oxygen atom that means to form water molecule this combining ratio of hydrogen to oxygen always fixed always same follow another uh, pictures follow here there are different compounds and in all compounds you uh, follow carefully there is not present atoms of only one element there are present atoms of different elements follow here uh, ammonia molecule here atoms of nitrogen and hydrogen present there are atoms of oxygen and carbon present there are atoms of hydrogen and oxygen present this compound name is hydrogen peroxide so like this way it is very clear to us and compound is formed of atoms of different elements and using a fixed whole number ratio now atoms are indivisible in chemical process that means in a chemical reaction actually atoms are not created or destroyed they just transformed from one matter to another matter or matter to different properties follow the picture follow here here for example this is a reaction chemical reaction where 16x elements and 8y elements they react with each other and form 8 compounds x to y compound here x is one type one element y is another one element and combining x and y element they form a compound whose composition is x to y so here follow this previously or starting the reaction there was 16x element 8y elements and after the reaction when they form compound also they are 16x element 8 to the 16 count here 16 red x elements and 8 y elements also 8 green y elements are present so from here we can uh, say actually in our reaction there is not destroyed or created destroyed or created of atoms they just change what from different matter of different properties follow here before the reaction x is just x element it carries or it um, carry the properties of x element before the reaction um, element y carries the property of y element but after the reaction they form a new compound that is x to y and it carries not the properties of x and y element it carries the properties of x to y compound for example if it is hydrogen if it is oxygen and uh, due to their reaction if it is this water molecule so these are actually carries the properties of water molecule they don't carry the property of hydrogen or oxygen molecule understood follow the another picture follow here 
this is also a reaction where methane is a compound because they have different elements are present when methane reacts with oxygen follow here oxygen is a elementary molecule for this oxygen uh, oxygen is a oxygen methane is a compound oxygen is element when they reacts together they just form different compounds isn't it here uh, what is our point they just we will see the number of atoms is changed or same follow here here one carbon atom here also one carbon atom in the um, reactant side that means before reaction there are four hydrogen atoms here also four hydrogen atoms in the reactant side but before reaction there are four oxygen atoms also there are four oxygen atoms one two three four so from this uh, reaction also we can see the number of atoms are not changed here only they change into properties before reaction they are here methane and uh, oxygen reacts but after reaction they are produced carbon dioxide gas and water and the properties of carbon dioxide gas and water are totally different from the properties of methane and oxygen so this is actually dalton's atomic theory and i hope you clearly understand about all points here you have to memorize these points and with clear conception so you have to uh, know about this dalton's atomic theory properly then you you will uh, you can get answer of any type of question coming from this dalton's atomic theory in your exam now we will know about our another topic molecule previously we have known that the smallest particle of a matter is atom isn't it all matters are composed of atom but atoms are not exist freely in nature this is the property of atom atom cannot be exist freely in nature in our nature for example in our nature there are present oxygen gas you know also nitrogen in and they are present in air isn't it or iron aluminium but actually they are not exist in atomic state because their atoms are cannot be exist freely in nature so how they exist in nature forming a molecule so now we will know about molecule what is molecule the smallest particle of an element or compound which can exist freely in nature is called molecule so now you have to think in just change way the smallest particle of matter you can say also the smallest particle of matter it can be elementary compound matter which can exist freely in nature is called molecule we know that smallest particle of a matter is atom but atom cannot exist freely in nature so the smallest particle of matter which can exist freely in nature that smallest particle is called molecule this molecule is of two types number 1 elementary molecule and number 2 compound molecule now we will know about this two types of molecules at first elementary molecule the molecule which is formed by the atoms of same element is called elementary molecule for example hydrogen oxygen nitrogen fluorine chlorine bromine iodine you will know name in your next classes so the molecule which is formed by the atoms of same element that means here molecule is formed we know that um, by the atoms but when the atoms of uh, same element are uh, combined together and form molecule then that molecule is called elementary molecule for example follow here this is oxygen this is present in our air oxygen uh, sorry this is oxygen this is present in our air this is hydrogen molecule nitrogen molecule and from this uh, picture or from this formula you easily understand here two atoms of hydrogen two atoms of nitrogen two atoms of oxygen two atoms of chlorine actually combine together to form a 
molecule. For this, they are called diatomic molecules. Di means two. So, these molecules are actually two atoms. Of two atoms, for this, they are called diatomic molecules. Similarly, another molecules are also present where three atoms or four atoms or more atoms are present. They are known as polyatomic molecules. Poly means many. Di means two, tri means three, tetra means four, but poly means many. So, for example, phosphorus, P for phosphorus. So, phosphorus, this phosphorus element actually form molecule by using four atoms. This is sulfur molecule. Sulfur molecules form molecule, sulfur element form molecules by using eight, eight atoms. So, they are actually exceptional and different, just you have to remember. So, here you have to memorize which are diatomic molecules, which are polyatomic molecules and uh, how many atoms are used in their molecule. You have to remember this. This is fixed. You cannot uh, make oneself. This is actually naturally fixed. So this is the elementary molecule where molecule is formed by the atoms of same element. Here atoms of same element. Now we will know about compound molecule. Compound molecule means the molecule which is formed by the atoms of different element is called compound molecule. For example, water. Water is compound why? Because here are different atoms of different elements are present. This is carbon dioxide, atoms of different elements. Follow the picture. Follow. They are the compound of compound. They are the actually uh, why they are called compound because these molecules are formed by the atoms of different elements. Different types of elements are present for this they are actually known as compound molecule. So, how oxygen, uh, water molecule is formed? Follow here. Two hydrogen atoms combine with one oxygen atom and form a water molecule. Although Water is actually produced by this reaction because you know that atoms cannot exist freely in nature. But to form a water molecule, there is needed two atoms, hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. But since atoms are cannot be exist freely in nature, for this actually actual reaction is like this. Way. Two molecules of hydrogen, one reacts with two molecules, combines with one molecule of oxygen and form two molecules of water because they can exist within nature in molecular state not atomic state okay and here why two molecules of hydrogen is used because you know that in one molecule of oxygen two hydrogen is needed one oxygen is needed one oxygen atom is needed but if we take one hydrogen molecule so we obtain two but in one oxygen molecule there is two oxygen so for this just balance in both sides in number of atoms, there is used two hydrogen molecules, one oxygen molecules, and here produce two water molecules. Water is a compound. How can we understand? Not only like this way, this is formed by the atoms of different elements. Also, if we dissociate water, uh, uh, okay, sorry, here actually I, uh, I am showing another example of compound. This is methane. The uh, methane actually uh, to form a methane, uh, methane is very familiar to us, not like this methane. Uh, actually, methane is familiar to us um, uh, uh, in natural gas. You heard natural gas, isn't it? Um, our main fuel of vehicles, natural gas, compressed natural gas, CNG. So, the main composition of natural gas is actually this methane. And this methane is formed of one atom of carbon and four atoms of hydrogen. And the uh, ball model of methane is like this, one carbon atom combined with four hydrogen atoms. Now, my dear students, follow. The, if we dissociate a compound, then we will get the constituent atoms. And by this way also we can understand compound is a, uh, water is a compound molecule how follow here if we dissociate compound water then we will get what hydrogen molecule and oxygen molecule so from this also we can say 
water is composed of diff atoms of different elements so i hope my dear students you clearly understand about molecule and elementary molecule and compound molecule but also i have shown here uh, some more information that means some uh, difference then it will be more clear to you about this two terms atom and molecule if you differ between atom and molecule then it will be more clear to you follow here atom is the smallest particle of an element and molecule is the smallest particle of also element and compound there will be also element and compound it may or may not exist independently i have said atom cannot be exist fill in nature but sometimes it may in higher in case of some noble gases you will uh, hear uh, in uh, higher classes uh, we have also some noble gas they are called helium neon argon krypton xenon okay in this case actually uh, the atoms of this gaseous substance are can exist in atomic gaseous but other Mm, atoms of all elements cannot be exist in atomic state for this there is written it may or may not the molecule is always exist freely in nature it may or may not have properties of matter that means mm, when it is a small particle of an element it carry the properties of that element of that matter but it always but when when atom is the smallest particle of compound that means when a compound is broken up to atom for example in previous class i, I have shown sodium chloride sodium chloride when contains the uh, smallest particle which contain one sodium atom and chlorine atom that means the molecule up to molecule of sodium chloride it carries the properties but when it broken further and we will get one sodium atom and one chlorine atom in that time they are not carry the properties of sodium chloride so for this there is written it may or may not have the properties of matter but molecule is always carry the properties of matter molecules are composed of atoms yes but atoms forms the molecules okay then um, there is given example atoms may be molecule due to independent exist atoms are present in more atomic molecule to stability factor that means this is extra points you can uh, right or not no problem atoms have no further kinds molecules have uh, homoatomic that means uh, it can be elementary molecule or it can be compound molecule homo means similar type or hetero means dissimilar type so like this way atoms have no bonding yes inside the atom no bonding is present but molecules to form a molecule there is uh occurs bonding isn't it for example water molecule carbon dioxide molecule here actually hydrogen combined with uh, oxygen due to chemical bond you will learn about this bonding in higher classes so now uh, you uh, are very clear about atom and molecule and also if you know clearly difference between compound and element then also it will be help to your learnings actually compounds are made of atoms of different elements but element is uh, made of atoms of same type then a compound is uh, representing using a formula okay we will know about in next classes and the number of compound is innumerable but the number of elements are till now it fixed and that is 118 so my dear students today up to this listen the uh lecture or uh, follow this video class properly if you uh, need then you can uh, watch this video class more times but you have to carry the or have to acquire as if the clear conception about the topics of today so today up to this goodbye everybody